Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module Network Enumeration Section Scanning and Enumeration Countermeasures. This is a brief introduction about the countermeasures. With the technology and the tools available, one cannot prevent scanning and enumeration, but countermeasures can be taken to avoid getting exposed. We are going to cover some of the precautions to keep a check on scanning and probing. Please watch to session to pick your favorite tool to run test against your network and know your security posture. All the security devices like firewalls, IDS, IPS and UTMs have built-in signature detection for pings, scans, DOS, DDoS, TCP flag attacks and many other kinds of attacks and additionally specialized tools can also be used. Most of the incidents happen where the infrastructure is available and non-awareness of its utility which could result in potential self-made damages. Security countermeasures can never be a definite approach, but some of the approaches will help in minimizing the risk. Some of the measures are perimeter security hardening, employee education, firewall hardening, IDS, IPS, and uh, many others. We are going to cover this soon. This is the first approach one must take. Harden the network perimeter with strong policy implementations. Conduct host port vulnerability scanning and pen testing to know the security posture of a network. Document the findings and plan to apply the remediation plan. Set up monitoring and alert system on all unusual activity. First thing of all is blocking the port scans. If a port is open, firewall or a host will respond. Everyone is responsible to protect an empire and awareness helps preventing major incidents happening. Document security policies and make a mandatory education training program on do's and don'ts to all employees. Firewall hardening plays an important role as first line barrier defending any network. Update latest firmware, patches, log, monitor all traffic, inbound and outbound, and analyze for patterns of unusual activity. Have IDS and IPS system in place to enhance identifying threats, monitoring, alerting, and acting. IDS is intrusion detection system, IPS is intrusion prevention system. And apply filters and configurations. Filter inbound and outbound ICMP messages to prevent hackers from knowing the live systems and help mapping network. By filtering ICMP echo will prevent UDP port scanning also, as ICMP echo is response to UDP scanning. Apply configuration to counter port scans, IP address spoofing, DOS, DDoS attacks, TCP SYN attacks, and uh, many other attacks. In IDS is intrusion detection system and IPS is intrusion prevention system. In IDS or IPS is a device or an application that monitors a network or systems for malicious activity or policy violations. Any detected activity or violation is reported to security admin and SIEM system. SIEM is security information and event management system. Large enterprises will have SIEM system which combines outputs from multiple sources and uses alarm filtering techniques to distinguish malicious activity from false alarms. The difference between IDS and IPS being IDS is reporting tool and IPS do have prevention mechanism. Configure them to identify unusual patterns, network traffic, monitor, alert and take appropriate action. The entry point to any network is WAN links and WAN routers and hardened WAN routers. This is important thing. Configure routing and filtering on the firewalls and uh, perimeter routers. Secure all servers against attacks at server level and app level. Secure FTP servers with malformed port and passive commands. Proxy servers is a way to hide actual destination and protect from direct attacks. Use inbound proxy servers for a high level of security as it will not forward the fragmented or malformed packets to internal server or host. This prevents TCP fin scanning or other steel methods. 
port scanning identifies open ports and services and query to gather the information on the target. Port scanning can be identified by remarkable signature. Open ports will respond. Closed ports deny connection, indicating filtered or blocked status, dropping the packets. Many tools have capability to apply rate limiting and block or ban scanners. Enable all the countermeasures that are provided with the infrastructure setup for the security that is available. Packet filtering. Ingress and egress is one defense against IP spoofing attacks. Do not rely on IP source address for authentication. Some upper layer protocols provide their own defense against IP spoofing attacks. All the firewalls, IDS, IPS and UTMs have built-in signature detection for pings, DOS, DDoS, TCP flag attacks. IPPL is a daemon which logs IP packets sent to a computer. It runs in the background and displays information about the incoming packets. IPPL is free software under GPL license. PingD or Ping daemon is the ping engine used by the ping.zz monitoring service. It allows to simultaneously ping hundreds of IPs and can manage which hosts are being pinged during the runtime. Ping.zz is the world's simplest monitoring service and this can be tried. ScanLogD is TCP port scan detection tool and can be built with support for one of several packet capture interfaces. ScanLogD is now aware of Libnids and LibPCAP. Use Libnids as it can handle fragmented packets also. Thanks for watching.